guys hope you're doing well so today uh, i've just got a short one for you i wanted to talk about a question that comes up a lot for people who don't know a lot about hockey and that question inevitably is why does the goalie sometimes just leave <laughs> which is a fair question if you don't if you don't know why like it's kind of weird so there's there's two main reasons why a goalie just kind of leaves the net um and it's the important thing to know is is when you're full strength, when you have all your guys, you can have six players, but there's nothing in the rules that says one of the players has to be a goalie. Um, I believe a player can play as a goalie without the goalie gear. I'm pretty sure that's in the rules there somewhere, but don't quote me on that. There are There's a lot of videos of players blocking shots in the crease uh, for their team. So, you know, like, then that's not against the rules. So, anyway, um, there's also a famous Mighty Ducks scene, and I think it's Mighty Ducks 2, uh, where the Charlie Conway, the captain, dives, and he gets hit, and it's like, oh, wow, a big moment. Anyway, so there's two main reasons why the goalie would leave the net. The first, and probably the most common, although it's not the one you're aware of because it's very short, is on what's called a delayed penalty. So, if my team has the puck and the other team um, commits an act of hockey crime against my team um, since we still have the puck they don't blow the whistle that's called a delayed penalty and they don't blow the whistle to stop the play until the other team that committed the act of hockey crime gets possession of the puck so because the other team literally cannot score because once they touch the puck the play is dead the goalie will leave the net so that an, a sixth attacker can get on the ice and sometimes that turns into things but more often than not by the time the goalie gets to the bench and the player gets out on the ice the play is kind of dead but it's still it's still a gamble you take you know you do it every time anyway so that's the most common although in lower leagues like beer league and in, especially in beer league the goalies are you know sometimes lazy they don't want to skate to the bench for what ends up being nothing um and then little kids don't sometimes it depends on the age some little kids are jazzed and they'll come and they'll go jumping over the boards like idiots um and other kids won't like when i was a kid in youth and high school hockey i never did it because it didn't turn into much it would tire me out to sprint to the bench you know it just was like yeah it wasn't worth it uh and the second time that the other time other common time that a goalie will leave the net, leave uh, the ice, is when the team is down. Uh, so it's it's third period. There's like a minute, maybe two minutes left, and the team is down by one, maybe two goals. They've already technically lost the game, so they, they pull the goalie. They got nothing left to lose to try to get that tie. Or in very rare instances, uh, these are the tournament playing, usually on lower level hockey. Uh, they'll pull the goalie even if the game is tied because sometimes they need that win to get to the, you know, the medal round or they need to get one more goal, you know, for the goal differential to go up or, you know, tournament rules are weird because they rank by uh, wins, obviously, is the most important thing. But if it's tied, so like two teams both have two wins, then they'll go for um, goals four, usually first. Um, and then goals against, uh, penalty minutes is another popular one. It just depends on the tournament and how they, they set the rules out. So sometimes, if very rarely, when there's a tie, uh, the team that needs the point will pull the goalie to hopefully either get that win or get that extra point because they got nothing else to lose. And if they tie the game, then that's it. They're out for the tournament. So, uh, yeah, that's your hockey rules of the day. Uh, if you got other questions about hockey or ice rinks or whatever drop in the comments i'm gonna try to answer some of these i know i talked about i was gonna do this a long time ago but i'm finally getting around to it so go ahead and bully me for it <laughs> anyway uh thanks for watching i hope you're doing well and if not well i hope that turns around for you and uh, now you know a little bit more about hockey so you can go watch it and when people ask like, why the goalie leave you can tell them because you know now you're welcome have a good one